Hey guys, this is Saurabh Nahar here from All About Technologies. And I am Dharmik Patel from Android Tricks. And these are the top 20 tricks of you, Utopia. And if you want to check out the second part of the top 20 tricks, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. That video will be on his channel, so make sure you check out the link in the description down below. So coming to the first trick, which is the app drawer. This is the first thing which you will see on your Utopia. And to change this, all you need to do is go to your home screen and click and hold it. You will get these options and then there will be an option of layout. Change it to paged. And once you do that, it will just become like a normal app drawer which you are used to. Coming to the next trick, for this you need to go to settings and then go to status bar and there will be an option of brightness control. Turn it on. This is a really cool feature to control your brightness. As you can see, by just sliding my finger on my status bar, I can change the brightness setting. This is really cool. So for the next trick, you need to go to display and light and then go to expanded desktop. What this will do is it will hide your status bar and your navigation bar so you can enjoy the full screen of your application. As you can see it over here and to go back you need to slide your finger up. That's pretty much for this trick. Coming to the next trick, you need to go to buttons and settings and then enable this keyboard cursor control. This is really great. As you can see at times we often mistype something as you can see but when your keyboard cursor controls are open, you can select your volume keys to move up and down on your text. This is really great and this is very useful I must say. So you will enjoy this one. Coming to the next one, for this you need to press and hold your home screen and then go to the protected apps option. What this will do is basically this will hide this application from your app drawer. So when you're giving your phone to someone else and don't want them to go to some application which you want to hide, you can do this. This is really great. As you can see, the Instagram application has been hidden. To go to the Instagram app, you need to go again to this option and then write the pattern which you have selected. You can unhide it whenever you want. As you can see, the Instagram is back on the app drawer. This is really great and follow all about technologies on Instagram for more updates. Coming to the next one, for this again you need to press and hold the home screen and go down to drawer settings and then select the scroll effect whichever you want. There are numerous options which you can select to customize your Android app drawer. As you can see, this looks really amazing rather than the stock animation. Coming to the next one, again you need to press and hold your home screen and then select the grid size. This option is not available on the stock Android. I'm really grateful that they have provided this one. As you can see, you can now put more widgets on your home screen. Coming to the next one, go to the home screen settings and then select the effect which you want. And this will change your home screen to something very different and very unique. Coming to the next one, as you can see, this search bar on the recent application, no one uses it. So why keep it? You have an option to remove it. For that, you need to go to display and lights and settings and then turn off this show search bar option. And as you can see, now it's hidden. This is another great trick which you can use. So now coming to the last trick, for this you need to go to gesture settings and enable all of the gestures. Now go to your lock screen and then draw a circle to open the camera application. Draw a V to open the flashlight and there are a bunch of other options for music control. So guys this was the first part of the tips and tricks, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did make sure you hit that like button down below. Also check out the second part, I'll leave the link in the description down below for you guys. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Snapchat. All the links will be in the description down below. 
This is Saurabh Nahari here from All About Technology. Thank you guys for watching.